In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to dockerize your React application and it's going to connect to the already dockerized Spring Boot application quick fit date in the previous tutorial. So if you take a look at the Docker desktop application, you can see that we have my SQL, we have the product image. So this is a Spring Boot application and its database, uh, uh, its database. Now we want to now dockerize the React UI application. Now, if I run this application, it's going to run, but it's going to be connecting to inside the container, the Spring Boot application container, which we created. So just out of curiosity, I'm going to just run it, uh, npm run start. So what is going to happen is going to connect into the container. And you can see that if we try to assess, now it's going to, yeah. So now you see that inside the container, we have the database, but we don't have any product yet. So what we are going to do now, we are going to dockerize this React application so that it can actually be running inside the container. We are going to be having the container uh, and be able to see the container right here because now we have the MySQL, we have the Spring Boot, but we don't have React. So once we dockerize the React, then we have the three of them and we can now put the three of them inside a network. It's going to be getting really interesting as we go. So let's go ahead to dockerize our Spring Boot, uh, the React application. If you are joining me for the first, if you are joining me for the first time, please remember to subscribe to my channel. So click on that subscribe button below to subscribe so that you don't miss any updates. Part of the step-by-step -step of this tutorial is also provided in my website. Uh, you can find the link in the description of this video. So the first thing we want to do is to create a Docker file in the root directory of your React application. So the name is going to be Docker file, just like we did in the case of the Spring Boot. It's going to just be Docker file. So the first line in this Docker file is going to be from the base image. And the base image we are going to be using is going to be nodes 18. And it's going to be Alpine, if I get the name correctly. Yes, so this is going to be the base image uh, we are going to be using. We are going to be setting up a working directory. So let's call it work directory. And the, the path is going to be up. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we now want to copy the package.json and the package lock.json into the container. So to do that, I'm going to just specify copy. It's going to be package star. So it's going to copy both package and the package lock.json. It's going to be copying it into the working directory uh, of the container. The next thing we want to do now is to run the npm install because we now have all the dependencies copied into the container. So if we run npm install, it's going to install npm uh, modules inside the container. I'm going to simply uh, specify the command run npm. Okay, so this is the next thing. The next thing we want to do is to copy other files. So to specify that, simply specify copy other files. So, so I think at this point, our container contains everything we need and we are going to build this application. So I'm going to say run npm run build. And finally, we want to expose a port. Uh, not finally, just before, uh, after now, there's one more command. So I'm going to say expose, I want to expose port three. 001. So there is a port inside the container that's going to be available from the outside. So this is basically how you set up your Docker file. And one more command. We now have to specify the entry point of this application. So it's going to be a CMD and we are going to be running npm, npm start. Okay, so now we have our Docker file. I'm going to go ahead to save everything and I'm going to create one more file called the Docker Ignore. The Docker Ignore, we are going to specify the files that we should not be copying into the container, otherwise it's going to copy everything. So I'm going to create a file .docker .ignore. Um, Let me click here. So it's going to be .docker ignore. I think that is the correct uh, name. And we don't want to copy the node modules because the node modules will be set up inside the container. So we don't want to copy the node modules. We don't want to copy the build directory. We don't want to copy the gits. Uh, we don't want to copy the Docker file. And we don't want to copy the do Docker 
ignore. Okay, so the next thing we want to do now, after this setup, we now want to build our image. So first, let me stop this application from running and let's build our image using the docker build command, docker build. And we are going to tag it to be, let's call it react dash ui slash dash docker. And the docker file we are going to be using is in the same directory as this command. So I'm going to just put a dot there and I'm going to hit the enter key. And hopefully it's going to build up the image. This image of our React application is going to take some time because it's going to run all these commands and also do an npm install to install all the packages specified in the package.json. So let's give it a few uh, seconds or maybe up to a minute and we continue. Okay, so the command completes and we have our Docker image. Now, if we go to the Docker desktop application, we will be able to see one more image, which is this React UI Docker. So we have the React UI Docker. So the next thing we want to do now is to run this container. Uh, so I'm going to close this. So let's run this uh, React UI Docker, uh, which actually will be starting up the container and connects to the container that we already built from Spring Boot. So it's going to be interesting. So let me run the command docker run. The port is going to be from the outside is going to be 3001 and it's going to route to port 3001 inside the container. And the name of the container, we are uh, the, the image we are going to be running is react UI docker. And I'm going to hit the enter key for it to start running. And it's actually running this time from inside the container. And let's see what we have. Okay, so it says um, the application started and it's compiled successfully. Let's now try to assign the localhost 3001 and it starts. Let me just show you. So it starts. This is where we are. At this point, there is no product in there. And if you also go to the endpoints. So if you go to the product endpoint, which is actually also running inside the container, inside a container. So let's go to 8080 slash products. So we have that. So there is no product right now. So we are going to try to insert a product and it's going to go to the MySQL inside a container. So let's try this and see how it goes. So I'm going to start new. Oh, we don't also have categories um so the question is can we insert without categories so let me just try new products new products add products and actually it inserted this product and you can see right here okay so there's no category for now we are going to be talking about this a little later but the thing you want to understand is that we now have the container for our react application running and just to show you that this actually gets inserted into MySQL inside the container. I'm going to go to login to MySQL inside the container. So let's go to check. So this is the container for MySQL is this one, right? Yeah, this one, MySQL Docker, MySQL dash Docker. So let's connect inside MySQL dash Docker and let's check the MySQL uh, database in there to see if actually it's actually inserted this product. So I'm going to say docker exec dash it and it's going to be my SQL docker and the command is going to be bash. Now let's connect to the my SQL inside this container my SQL and it's going to be root root as well and now we are inside the container the MySQL container. So I'm going to say show databases. So you can see we have the product DB Docker. Let's check what is in there. So I'm going to say use product DB Docker and let's show the tables. Okay, so now we have product table available. So let's select uh, and see the content of the product table. So I'm going to say select star from products. So hopefully we are going to see the one single item we inserted which is right here i'm going to just try to insert one more item and just let's see that it actually updates the database so let me go right here and i'm going to add one more new one more product i'm going to say another product and another product 
uh, a second one. <laughs> so, and I'm going to insert. So we have two products now. Let's go back to the terminal here and let's do a, another select. And you can see that we have the second product right inside the container. Now, what you can observe now is that we have three different containers, three of them communicating, right? The MySQL container, the, Sp the Spring Boot application container, and also the, the React UI container. So what we are going to do now is we are going to put these three containers into a network so that once we start one container, all the other containers is going to start at the same time. And that brings us to the topic of Docker networks. And we are going to cover that in the next tutorial. Link to containers, that's fine. But we are going to now do Docker networks to help us to, to connect multiple containers on the same network. It's going to be really easy and interesting. I'm going to stop here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any challenges. Like this video and we we'll see you in the next part.